Hello, my name is Thomas Olson and I am from Omaha, Nebraska. I am proud to serve as the current president of the Serbian Singing Federation. I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes giving you a virtual tour of the Serbian Singing Federation headquarters building. It is located at 26352 John R. Road in Madison Heights, Michigan. The Serbian Singing Federation building hosts a plethora of Serbian choral music and history of Serbians on the continent of North America. I hope you enjoy the tour and feel free to reach out to a board member if you have further questions or take the time to visit the headquarters so you can experience its richness for yourself. Upon entering the headquarters, you will notice an open and updated space. The space is generally used for board meetings or, as choirs have done recently, social events such as workshop, gatherings, conventions, and other SSF-sanctioned events. I want you to notice the cabinetry. This was completed by Milan Damjanovic, who is director of the SSS Niegos in Cleveland, Ohio. Along with the physical artifacts that you will see in the shelves above, the drawers host folders for each SSF member choir. These folders contain archival information and other documents of historical value to each choir. As previously mentioned, the drawers in this cabinetry host folders for each choir of the Serbian Singing Federation. Not only do they have folders for each choir, but each event of the SSF has a folder. In these folders you can find event announcements, workshop, festival, convention information, and other artifacts pertaining to your choir. If you ever get a chance to visit the SSF headquarters, make it a point to explore your choir's folder. Next to the cabinets and folders where you can find your choir information is a plaque dedicated to Vlako M. Luganja. It reads, in appreciation, we, the members of the Serbian Singing Federation of America, wish to express our deep and sincere appreciation to Vlako M. Luganja, 
founder and honorary executive secretary from 1931 to 1962 for organizing and perpetuating the Serbian Singing Federation, given this 31st day of May, 1964. Executive Board, SSF. This is the living brick wall space. Individuals or choirs may purchase bricks to honor another choir or individuals that have been dedicated members of the Serbian Singing Federation. Much of the interior design, as well as the quotes that you find written throughout the building, were completed by the late Stevo Medic of the SSS Ravanica in Detroit, Michigan. Not only does the SSF house a plethora of Serbian choral music, but it is also very fortunate that many choirs and families have given artifacts or let the SSF use artifacts on loan to enrich the beauty of this building. As you can see, here is a portrait of late director, the SSS Sloboda, Adam Popovich, as well as a row of all presidents of the SSF lining the top of the interior of the building. If you happen to be at an SSF event that is held at the headquarters and you have a name tag, be sure if you choose to leave that name badge behind. You can add it to our makeshift wall and read through all of the people who have visited the headquarters and all of the historical buttons and name tags from past SSF events. Here is a portrait of the SSS Branko Radicevic from Chicago, Illinois, a charter member of the Serbian Singing Federation. This photograph is from the early 1900s. Seen here is a vintage tambora bass of the late Eli Popovich. This instrument is currently on loan to the SSF from the Popovich family. This is a portrait of Dushan Shala, director of the St. Nicholas Church Choir of Wilmerding in Monroeville, Pennsylvania.
The shelves in the main area of the SSF headquarters house recordings, repertoire, and many famous writings of Serbians. Many of these artifacts and books are only found at the SSF headquarters in Madison Heights, Michigan. This is the Pupin Cup. The Pupin Cup is named for Serbian-American physicist and physical chemist. Pupin is best known for his numerous patents, including a means of greatly extending the range of long-distance telephone communication. In the past, choirs would sing and compete for the honor of winning the Pupin Cup at SSF festivals. Directly next to the main space of the SSF headquarters is another room which houses several filing cabinets. In these filing cabinets, you will find plays, solos, choral pieces, cantatas, and other musical compositions and arrangements. Many of these compositions and arrangements are the original work of the composer or arranger and only exist at the SSF headquarters. I personally hope you enjoyed this virtual glimpse into the Serbian Singing Federation headquarters. I am extremely proud of this building and its contents, and I encourage each and every one of you to make the trek and visit this wonderful museum of Serbian choral music in the continent of North America. <laughs>